Um, do you, let's talk about these uh, tablets. Um, do you see a big difference then? Do you see a difference in, I mean, first of all, do you track pe people making purchases on phones versus people making purchases on tablets? Do you have that kind of data? Uh, the tablet is, you know, it will be launched in this days. So we have no data on this. Right, so you don't have Right, uh, but of course we will track. And, and the thing is, the tablet is something for the evening. Yes. During the day, you use your mobile or your laptop. In the evening, most likely, you are sitting in front of your TV, and then you, you know, check something on your t tablet, and you buy, it, and yeah. This was this was um, uh, as I said, this was a. Uh, uh, Jason Goldberg said that the, it, it was it was very clear the pattern of of use during the day. So first thing in the morning, uh, it was all on the mobile. So that's people going to work, you know, on the train, whatever it is. During the day, it was all web. So it was on, all on the desktop. So rather than doing any work, they're obviously all buying whatever it is they're buying. And then in the evening, it was all tablet. Now, this is in a US market. Uh, um, so it was very clear, those, 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 those differences. In terms of the mobile consumer, do they buy more or less? I mean, do you see big differences in you know, their purchasing patterns? Do, you know, is there anything that makes them different from, from web-based consumers? At, at least for fashion, no. There is not a significant difference on that. So if you are you know, focused on one brand, you still buy the same brand or the group of brands. If you are focused on price, you look for the uh, goods you know, which fit in, into your price level. Uh, I, I, we, at least we, we couldn't make any differences in mobile and web usage of fashion. <laughs>